I have a feeling this video is going to end with us watching a synopsis video to try to understand what the fuck's happening. This thing growing inside me. Ooh. Inside I've you? been fighting it for six hard years. Hard? Dr. Amaral was developing a cure for the Cronon Syndrome. She was the only one who could administer the treatments that kept my sickness at bay. Paul? And Jack had taken her away from me. How the fuck did this happen, Morton? How is it possible they managed to take her? Paul, this is your illness talking. I'm on your side. Ugh. Ugh. Which pet you get, Reva? Easy, you They took her. Without Sophia, there's no chance of a cure. We did all we could. But there are forces within Monarch working against you, and I believe Burke was just the tip of the iceberg. It wasn't just Joyce that did this. Uh, sir? Uh, we've recovered Dr. Amaral's laptop. We have it set up over there if you want to take a look. I'll be right there. LMAO, I can't. Reading all those emails would grind my gears. Me too, man. If she's right, the fracture is escalating a lot faster than we anticipated. You and I love that, Reba. That's fucking badass, Dr. dude. What a good Dust. pet. Is the lifeboat even in a viable state for activation? She's trying to convince you the schedule's wrong. Why? To get you to rush this? To make a mistake? The people opposing you. She could be one of them. She isn't. Are you willing to bet the entire plan on that? Maybe. I implore you, hold off on activation, Paul. Let me clean house before this gets completely out of hand. How do you want to proceed? Somebody was working against me. Somebody close. Martin Hatch. Oh. Sophia Amaral. I could only trust one of them. It's clearly Hatch, right? But that would be subverting expectations if he wasn't. You know what I mean? Because Hatch planned the fake assassination attempt during his speech. At least it's Im heavily implied that he did. And Amaral seems to actually give a shit about Serene. A.K.A. Littlefinger. A.K.A. that dude. A.K.A. the big dickhead behind all this, I guess. But either way, we'll look. We'll see what happens. I want him in breath. Immediately. So I have some information about Martin Hatch. Martin had been my closest advisor for years. I began to wonder if that had been a mistake. Sophia's loyal. She's always been loyal. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. She knows what it does. Sophia's research had saved my life. Loyalty doesn't run any deeper. I said I'll try. Evidence was mounting against Sophia. I couldn't simply ignore it, despite everything we had been through. But she knew you'd never make it without those treatments. But she took them away. If she'd turned against me with what she knew, the damage could be immeasurable. Such an interesting thing to do in a game make the decisions for the bad guy. Mm. I don't know, what would you guys pick? Anybody got any input about who you think he should trust?
because I honestly think legit um I don't know. This is way too heavy to just do this at the start of a stream. I feel like he would... <sighs> Damn it. Sophia's data has always been good. I'll trust her judgment. We need to analyze these figures and make final preparations to activate the lifeboat protocol at once. Fine. I'll take the laptop to the science department. No, I think I'll do that myself. I see. Unnerving. Sir? Put people on Mr. Hatch. I want constant eyes on him. Yes, sir. You got it. We pulled some images from the security cameras. We've identified Joyce's accomplice. She's Beth Wilder, one of our mid-level operatives. Her. My god, she's been with us all along. She's working with Jack. Ooh. Where Sponge? Is she now? Unknown. But we've got a kill team tracking her. No, 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 no. She can't be killed. Not yet. Find her. And whatever Mr. Hatch does, I want to know about it. Don't screw this up. Beth Wilder. It was the first time I'd heard her name. But she had been there in the past. When it all started. been here the whole time working against me from the inside and she wasn't the only one that was the uh oh, okay i went with the community on that one that was when he came out the first time like whenever he goes in at the beginning of the game and it presumably came out in like 1995 oh movie the treatments They're enjoy everybody there's no changing the inevitable. Time is just one closed loop. And no matter what I do, time ends. I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? Do I look threatened to you? This is Dr. Amaral's report. The stutters, they're, they're increasing in frequency. What is that? A chronon disrupted life form. Extremely hostile. It's Dr. Kim. Let's go! Let's go! I'm actually grateful for the recap this time. Put one of those on! Here we go again. And squid? Ooh, -woo. what's up? The 
And what did Burke want with it? Well, I don't know. I don't even know what the lifeboat protocol is. It's a sanctuary designed to shelter a list of monarchs' essential personnel to weather the storm until they can develop a solution. Essential personnel. So that means that I'd be on that list, right? Not under Paul Serene's lead, you wouldn't. Oh, shit. He's failed to see the value in his own people. Too consumed with grand ideals and delusions. You know what I find to be the most terrifying notion on this planet? The idea of God. Simply the idea. A being with that much power. The ability to take and give so freely. That kind of control. Max! I love you. Defeated, not worshipped. Yet, people believe in it. Just as people believe in Paul Sweeney. You see, what's so scary about God? Isn't his control, but rather, if he ever lost it, Paul Serene's become unhinged, Charlie. He's triggered a catastrophe. He has the chance to fix it, but he's choosing not to. He's choosing to let things end. In the end of time. And this is where we come in. We risk too much leaving the keys to the kingdom in one man's hands. We need insurance. There's something called the CFR. It's a crucial key to our survival and must remain safe. But as long as Paul is the only one with access to it, it isn't. With access to the CFR, I would take over, get Monarch back on track, and once I do, restructuring would be in order, Charlie. Restructuring that would see you as my right hand. I'd be on the list. Absolutely. The coup begins. Then I need to go back to Monarch. And that sort of privilege isolation it can only be done from the inside. <laughs> I put the island on lockdown, but the pump house on the west side has an old supply tunnel that runs beneath the bay. No one knows about it. You'll go unseen. Time is of the essence, Charlie. You better get to it. Yeah. Commander Davis. Yes, sir. Head to the perimeter lab. We're moving forward. The frequency of the stutters is still unpredictable, but they're persistent. Erratic, but persistent. I need certainty. If I initiate the protocol, there's no going back. Mr. Serene, something like this. There is no certainty. We've never dealt with it before. How long? We've been running Dr. Amaral's simulations. It's hard to say without her to confirm, but... Just give me a time. The Joyceville could collapse within eight hours. Oh, shit. Mr. Serene. I don't know what that is. To proceed, now would be the time to decide. Also, Max, it's a live action cutscene. I'll let, we'll let you in on it. Charlie. Fiona. Hey, bud. 
Where are you going? You're right. Time's ending, just like you said. And the lifeboat protocol, it's a place. They built it to protect people from the fracture. And the only problem is, is, is there's a list and anyone who's not on it is, is pretty much fucked. But if we make it back to the mainland, then I, I can get us on the list. All of this us. entire island is on lockdown. How are we gonna do that, Charlie? There's a tunnel. Hey, all right, if you are lying to me this time, I swear to God. Get off! I'm tired of shit. I don't know why you're doing this, but I don't have to put your name on shit, motherfucker. <laughs> <What'd you do? laughs> it just fucking throat chopped him. You why you're gonna put me on that list. I got a pregnant wife at home, and she's the only thing that I am thinking about right now. So if you get in the way of me protecting her, I swear to fucking God, next time, you will not catch your breath. Lead the way. All right, Kitty, back to the void. I think I was right to not trust Hatch. I've come to free you, my friend. This imprisonment, it's unsettling. It's time for you to rejoin the others, to return to the infinite. Did it with all of them in there, dude. Ice cold. No witnesses. No witnesses. Your wife. Three months. Congratulations.
shit. Liam? I'd be booking it. I don't know which direction I'd be booking it in, but I'd be fucking booking. Yep. Water's taking his time, isn't it? You doing okay? Yeah. Hey, yeah. I'm good. We need to get. Get on the fucking ground! Hey, ground! No, 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 no! We're with Monarch. What don't you hey, understand? No, get on the ground! Hey, no, no, no. Hey, I'm the one that called it in. I'm Hatch's guy. Wind guy. Yeah. Who's she? She's chronon scientist. She's important. We have to get her back to Monarch right away. Please. Get the fuck out of here. Now! Yeah. Yeah, is Liam dead, dog? Gibson. I got her. Fiona. Fiona. No, you gotta listen. Hey. You killed him! Fuck! Hey! I didn't know that they were gonna kill him. What was I supposed to do? Huh? You let me on and then you kidnapped me. This isn't me. about you, Charlie! Are you stealing this car? Just get the fuck out of here. No, you're gonna need me. I got what I needed out of you. Yeah, I'm getting used to it. Why don't you open your eyes? The world is about to end. I'm trying to do something. Yeah, you're a real hero. Fuck you. <laughs> you guys are funny. A nurse, huh? I'll see you there. Oh shit. Burke. You fuck. You know, I'm really gonna enjoy killing your wife. Oh, yeah? Fuck you! <laughs> yeah, eat shit and die, prick. Fuck you. I'm talking to the guy with his throat slash, not you guys. I love you guys. Cow's pretty handsome. Oh, thanks. Takes a lot of forehead to be this handsome. <laughs> yeah, put a couple more in a mat, boy. Yes. Davis. Good looking dude. I'd set him up with my mom Davis for Davis sure. Davis. My man. They're all good men. Monarch's finest. Wait. Okay. Yeah, you're messing with the dude who can see rifts in time. What my treatments? I'm afraid so. You know what this means. You don't know for sure. I'm a dead man! You let this happen! Jack, he wants me to become you. He wants me to suffer until the end. Joyce and Wilder. But what was troubling me is who got them in the Kim's lab.
plan of that she info. Visit. Well, she was thought to be missing minutes before the explosion. Paul. Paul, will you... Paul, will you listen to me? Look, it's time you see her for who she really is. This was a part of gift. They forced her. She's trying to destroy you, She's Paul. trying to help me. Oh, Jesus, but... Look at you. The smartest man I know. Blinded by a fool's love. Paul, what are you planning on? Sophia's loyal. She's gotten inside your head. She's always been loyal. You need to think about if this. If the fracture's happening now, I owe this to her. Shit's happening. We have no time. Bro's leaving his family right behind. Man, Tom breaks and everybody just loses all sense of moral code, huh? Ain't the government, says damn corpos, man. The Monarch Corporation. You're not doing too hot, bro. Liam? Hey, pal. I'm glad you could make it. I was just telling your girl here how concerned about you we've been. Emily, we need to go. Go? What's the rush? the cords around his neck.
Yeah, she thinks you're a monster now, bro. Emily, give me the keys. Give me the keys. Get away from me. Get Emily, away. listen. No. Listen, no. please. Please, please. No. This is not who I am. This is not. I'm telling you, I never felt good doing this. I, I never, I never felt good doing this. But it's the only thing I knew how to do. And when I got back, I couldn't, I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find anything to do. And Monarch, they found that useful. And they put me to work. And I swear to God, I couldn't, I couldn't stand, I couldn't stand being alone. And so, so every Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I would, I would walk down the street because it was the only two nights at the bartender. And she wasn't at school. And I told myself every night to ask you what. It took me a fucking year. Emily, if Mom, I could, if they gave me structure, you gave me purpose. I did this to protect you. I did this to protect us, our family. I did this to protect our family. And Emily, you have to listen to me. Something terrible is coming, and I will explain to you on the way, but we have to move. We have to move right now. If you will just let me, if you will just let me protect you on my side. Well, I mean, if he lets her run off, Monarch's just going to kill her. So. perimeter lab so I have some information about Martin Hatch yeah you do I want him apprehended yeah. immediately Gosh, God, I almost forgot we were playing a game. <laughs> These shits are so intense. <laughs> 